Hello and welcome to GoTo Tech Reviews. Today we're just going to run a quick airflow experiment on my NZXT S340 Elite case and see if we can lower my GPU temperatures. Anyone who has followed my channel for a while knows I've been through several cases over the last year or so, and the S340 Elite is by far my favorite. One thing that I've had to adjust to is having the CPU radiator mounted up front, which has been great for my CPU temps due to the fresh air intake, but not as good for my GPU temps due to less fresh air movement in the case. I wanted to experiment around and try this little 140mm to 120mm fan adapter I found on Amazon and have a push-pull on the bottom to help with GPU air circulation. The reason I chose to do this was because I didn't want to remove the cable management bar. Since I have a 280mm radiator, the cable management bar is in the way of mounting a 140mm fan on the bottom and on the top as well, so I have to step it down to 120mm to make it fit, and even with the adapter, the 120mm fan is still a tight fit. The experiment is pretty simple, I just ran the Heaven benchmark on the Extreme preset for half an hour using my RX 470 with fixed fan settings throughout the case and on the GPU. I then added a Noctua NFF 12 PWM fan which is great static pressure and airflow. I then fixed the fan speed and recorded the difference after the test. As you can see from the results, that the added fan brought down my max GPU temperature by about 4 degrees Celsius. It's not a significant drop, but enough to say it made a difference. I could have characterized different fan profiles that were more aggressive, but I chose to stay in a nice mid-range fan speed for more typical use cases. This really was just a quick and simple experiment to see if GPU temps could be reduced on the NZXT S340 Elite if the intake had a push-pull fan setup to help circulate the GPU air better. I think it's safe to say it did help in reducing the GPU temperature. But personally, I will not be keeping it on since it kind of messes with the clean aesthetic as it breaks up the clean lines from the cable management bar, and the temperature difference really is not significant enough. If you found this video interesting or helpful, then go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. You can get up-to-date news and project statuses if you follow me on Twitter at GoToTechReviews. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.